Hackers are a vulnerable population for crimes like cyber scams and identity theft. Joining me now to talk about how to prevent that is the president and CEO of the local office on aging, Ron Boyd. Thanks so much for being here with us. It's great to be here. Yeah, um, we're talking about uh, defense, defending yourself against these types of scams, which unfortunately seniors are often the victims of. What are some ways they can do that? Well, just keep your information close. Uh, I've got a saying regarding your information, check it out before you give it out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, that'll, that'll call. Right now we're seeing a number of things like uh, cable TV, internet, you can get 50% off, uh, cell phones, you can get 50% yeah. off, and even you can upgrade your Medicare, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like that. Seems so, too good to be true. You know, yeah, exactly. But if you, if it has to do with insurance, you can always check. There are a lot of places, the Bureau of Insurance, State Corporation Commission, uh, or you can call LOA. But uh, check with your family, check with uh, uh, someone that's an authority before you give any of your information out on the phone because, yeah. you know, if you've got a landline or a cell phone, it rings all the time. And a lot of, most of the time it's marketers. And unfortunately, even if they sound like a reputable company, like if they sound like it's your bank or, you know, it, right. these people can use that information uh, and pretend to be people that they're not. Yes, don't give your personal information out. Verify it first mm -hmm. uh, with your credit uh, to protect it, freeze your credit. Yeah. You know, there are people that can help if a senior doesn't know how get an authority that can help you do that to protect your finances. Right, and even if you're just a little bit suspicious, it's always best to verify and save yes. yourself from a headache like that. Absolutely. And now to help with those types of issues, the Senior Legal Safety Conference is coming up. What types of information uh, can seniors learn at that free event? Oh, all kinds of things. Legal will have an attorney there that will be speaking and they answer questions and then during the breaks you can see uh, them. Uh, we have representatives from Senior Navigator, from Botetot Sheriff's Department, uh, a, fr a, fu a funeral planning, estate planning, mm -hmm. all of those things. A lot of information. It's free. Free. We love that. And there's going to be free breakfast also and lunch. Yes. Yes. You get uh, fed all day long. Yeah. And, uh, and even during breaks. Yeah. It's, it's always a great event and there is a lot of information. A lot of people that have information that are accessible mm -hmm. all in one place. Knowledge is power. Yes, it is. Uh, the local office on aging and 40 other partners in Virginia are also part of the Elder Justice Alliance. Can you tell us more about that group? It's about 40 plus partners. It's a collaboration to educate, to help prevent exploitation, uh, financial mm -hmm. exploitation, elder abuse. Uh, you know, they come together, they review cases. Uh, we have elder law attorneys. We have uh, uh, law enforcement, uh, mm -hmm. social services, they come together to try to help to see what's going on kind of in the area, you know, at that time. Yeah. And they advocate and educate. That's amazing. Um, I want to give you some information too on your screen, uh, that Senior Legal Safety Conference coming up Friday, September 20th. 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's happening at Harvest Ministries, and you must register by September 13th. You can head on over to local office on aging.org to sign up for that. Ron, anything else you want to add? No, just uh, especially the Legal Safety Conference. It's a great opportunity to get a wealth of information within that four or five hour block, and you get fed. We love that, Ron. Thank you so much.